couple weeks ago, I posted some photos of me shooting off this tripod here, and several jack wagons were like, why on earth would you shoot off of a tripod when you can just go prone? It's more accurate. Is it really? Is it really? Well, you see, the way that I think about it is we have these things called ticks here, and you are more than welcome to leave your manicured flat range and come out here and roll around in the hay field to see if you can get a high score on the STD. Excuse me, excuse me, French. Uh, what I meant to say was bloodborne pathogen. The other thing that sort of came up in that whole thread was I don't trust a tripod like that to hold up my expensive rifle. Dude's probably got like a $500 R700 and a trash chassis with a loophole duplex scope on top of it. $50 rings, the scope cost me a hundred bucks. And I'm standing here staring at you through a $7,000 camera mounted on less tripod than that. <laughs> so, yeah, right. I did set a rifle up and then disappeared for a week on uh, this tripod just to see if it would hold it up. And yeah, totally did. Exactly where I left it. So what we're gonna do in today's video is we're actually gonna go out to the range and we're just gonna do it. We're gonna shoot seated, tripod, and prone, and just see, is there a huge accuracy difference? We'll start with the UD Orbit ball head. They make a clamp mount as well, but this interacts directly with their UD chassis, and it will do both arc rail as well as pick. If you want more information on the rifle that I'm using, then you can find a full video dedicated to it in the description box down below. First off, the head clamps down using an aggressively knurled knob. However, Ultradyne has integrated their Dynalock system, which is a push button strut that locks the head into position and that keeps it from sliding around under recoil. They also offer a Dynalock Arca Rail 2M lock converter. So if you want to use something like, oh, your standard AR and their fluid head setup, then you have that option. The unit has an optional barricade claw if you want to crush it up against a barrier of some kind for stability. And you can adjust the tension of the mount by operating the flywheel located approximately where your thumb should be, adding or subtracting weight held by you or the tripod. The tripod itself is a carbon fiber build with fast stops, an oversized tension plate, enough height for Goliath, and one of the legs pops off to turn into a monopod. I'm legless. I'm legless. On to bench rest. For this, we're gonna be using the Ultradyne launch pad. This thing is a tank. Steel construction body with adjustable feet and an adjustable elevation dial located just underneath where you're going to attach whatever rifle attachment you want. We're of course going to use the Dynalock head so that we can keep it even. Next to the main business area is a slot for adding weight to the sled. You can use really anything you want to weight it down, sandbags, shot bags, gravel off the range, I suppose. And Ultradyne even makes a free weight adapter for those of you who bought home gyms during the <clears throat> However, I found that a concrete block fits nicely. And then for prone, pretty simple setup. I've just got a front bag and a rear bag. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to go to the caliper to see which one is the best. This is from the launch pad. This is from tripod, and then this is from prone. I'm gonna say right off the bat that it looks to me like the launch pad group's a little bit bigger, followed by prone, and then I think the tripod wins. Man, the numbers are in, folks. Uh, what we ended up with, 
seated at bench rest. 0.692 group, group that's inches. Uh, out of the tripod, we ended up with a 0.54 inch group. And out of the prone position with the sandbags, we got a 0.5835 group. So if we run the numbers really quick, we got 22%, 22.2% decrease in group size from shooting from the prone. Now, sample size of one. It's pretty hard to say that a tripod is less accurate than shooting it prone when we can simply demonstrate on a random evening that it is most certainly not. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully we'll see you on a future video here at the VSO Gun Channel. Send this to all your uh, precision rifle shooting snobs.